right, all right, all right. Thank you very much. We have been working hard for you to learn a master Igbo if you are interested in learning Igbo language. These are the simple things you can learn about Igbo language. If you stick to this channel, it will be a great help to you. All right. Now we are going to be looking at Nkeji Asoso. Nkeji Asoso, which is um, uh, under it, we have Mpo Aha. Aha na Nochi Aha. That's what we'll be talking about. Nkeji Asoso means pass of speech. Now, Mpo Aha. Mpo Aha. And the Nochiaha is called now. Mbaha means what? Now. Mm. Aha means what? Now and pronoun. Mboaha means what? Nominal. Why aha means what? Pro um, means now. And nochiaha means pronoun. Mpo aha means nominal. Aha means noun. Nochi aha means pronoun. So you get that into your brain. That, that's what we'll be talking about now. First, I'll be looking at mpo aha, which is what? Um, that's mpo aha now, which is um, aha, which is nominal noun. Okay. Nominal now, which is mpo aha, is any word that can stay or function as subject. Isiahere. In Igbo, subject is called isiahere. Object. In Igbo, is called nara. Complement. In Igbo, is called napota. Verb complement. In Igbo, is called meju. Mejungwa in a sentence. Mejungwa in a sentence. Now we look about nominal, which is mbo aha has four children. Nominal has four what children, which is they are noun, which is what aha pronoun, which is nochi aha interrogative, which is njo adojo. Um, numerals which is ono or gogo. Now let's look at aha, which is what? Now let's look at noun, which is what? Aha. Aha is noun in English. Okay? Now this is the part of speech that shows a name of something. I mean, a name of something, Nibo means aha, ihe. Aha, ihe. It could be human being, which is a mother. Human being is a model nibo. It could be animal, which is anomano. So an animal is anomano in Igbo. Or place, which is what? Ebe. So place is ebe in Igbo. So we have an example of them here. Have names of something. Aha, ihe. Example. Oche, which is share in English. Ngaje, which is spoon in English. Akoko, which is book in English. Then the next one is names of human beings. That is names of human beings. In Igbo we call it Ahandi Mado. We have Igbo names here just like Chuku Emeka, Chukuka, Emeka, Uche, Uchechi. Even my name says it's Igbo name. Chuku, Josie, Obi, Nwa, and so many of them. We now look at the names of animals, which means in Igbo, aha, omo, animal. We have an example of them, which is okay, which is rat in English. We have unkesa, which is dog. We have ewu, which is goat in English. We have ezi, which is pig in English. So, the next one is names of places, aha, obodo. Names of places means aha, obodo. Obodo means places. We have for example here Aba, Nsoka, Mba, Nosekoto, Abuja. These things are names of places. Alright. 
Um, okay, forging ahead, we'll be looking at laying emphasis on characteristics of now, which is injury mara aha. So, characteristics in Igbo means what injury mara, so know it today. Characteristics means um, in Igbo means injury mara. All right, and going further. We'll look at number one, which is Aha Were Ike Ekoro Onweya. So now can stand on its or on its own. We have an example here. G which means yam. Akuko which means brick. Ed which means koko yam. Okay? Number two we have aha na wa na gako ono na hirioku. That means noun goes with verb in a sentence. We have an example here. Osikapa enuma. Who is translation in English there? Now the next one is Ada Jara Onyaho. Ada Jara Onyaho. Okay? So I have the third one here, which we have Aha na Emeju Puta Ngwa na Hirioko. Aha, me make you put on one now here, which means now complement verb in a sentence. Now complement verb in a sentence. We have an example here. Uche, number one is Uche, Riri, Umri. Uche, Riri, Umri. Uche, Riri, Umri. So Uche is complementing um, other words there. Yeah, so in English you are seeing there which is AT. And the second one is Adabara Boru Uku. Adabara Boru Uku. 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 Yes, that's the English translation. Yeah. And let's look at number four, which is Ahamwere Ike Eno Ototo Ebe Na Hidioku. That means now can be in so many places in a sentence. Ahidioku means what? Sentence, have that in your mind. Uh -huh. So, number one example there, we have Sinamdi, the Aho, Ada, Siri, Sinamdi, the Aho, the Aho, Ada, Siri, O, Ike, Nenna. Sinamdi, the Aho, Ada, Siri, O, Ike, Nenna. The next one is Nnamdi. Nnamdi. The yam adapu belong to Nenna. Nnamdi. The aho adapu belong to Nenna. Now, now it's clear. So that one means what? Nnamdi. The aho. The aho. Adasiri bonke nenna. So the meaning in English means nam the yam adaku belongs to nenna. That is the meaning in English. And the next example there, ulongi aho bonke obina na omu meya. You see the translation in English there. All right, thank you. Let's move further. We we'll look at the. This one pronoun which is noti aha. So pronoun in Igbo means noti aha. And I believe even in your English you know what pronoun is all about. But let's look at it as it's possibility written there. This is a part of speech that is used to replace a noun to avoid a repetition of nouns in a sentence. Now look at Igbo translation there. Obu nke dia so so edi edoti aha na hirioku we have the Igbo pronoun here number 1 have mm, mm. number 1 Igbo pronoun so one mm which is i mm obu mm means what i number the next one mo 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 means me. The next one, e e means what you. Have the e 
okay, go and see the first one, E means what? Go. The next one is G, G means go. O, O could mean T, uh, he, he or it in a sentence. O, O could mean, O could mean he, he, it. Okay? Ya, ya could mean he, he, it as well. Depending on the, how they are being used in a sentence. Okay? And could mean we, us, our. Depending on how it's being used in a sentence. Unu could mean yo. Huh? Unu. Unu could mean we. Well, the next one is ha, which means it could be they, them, theirs. Ha, they, them, theirs. Okay? Okay. And go means number. Okay, let's look at this. And go means number. Onye means person. Notia means pro. On that angle, we have Ibolu. The other one is Onyembo, the first person. The other one is M, which is I, Mo, which is me. Which is what? Okay. Ibolu means what? Singular. You can see it there. And I have explained um, uh, Onye, which is the first person. Onya, bo, onya, ato. I will send the pronouns you can use to make them complete. So the next one is Obara, which is what? Please write. Please write. So Onya, bo, first person. Anya, we, us, our. That's how it's being, this is how it's being used there. Um, onya, bo, which is second person, which is Unu. We okay. Um, the next one is only after the third person, it means ha, they, them, here. Can use them like that here, okay. Now we'll go for that to look at the characteristics of Igbo pronoun in Jirimara. <coughs> Jirimara means characteristics. The characteristics of Igbo pronoun. Njirimara nochi aha. So pronoun means nochi aha. Njirimara nochi aha Igbo. Now, enwere ugu. In bracket, we have Ubolu, Mobu, Obara. Nime nochi aha, which is pronoun accept number. Singular or plural in it. We have example. See, okay, let's look at it. Ofodo no chiaha na eso ngwa na azo na hirioku. Now look at it. Some pronouns go after a verb in a sentence. Okay, looking at the example here, we have oriri oriri ya oriri ya oriri. Yeah. So look at it here. He or she ate it. He or she ate it. The second one, Anyi Guaraha. We told them. Ha means them. Ha Guaranyi. They told us. Well, remember, we are looking at the characteristics of Igbo pronoun. That's why uh, we are giving you this example. Okay, let's look at the next one. Okay. Which is Nochiaha na emeka aga kaagara ipo aha uboro uboro. 
nnochi aha na eme ka ahara ikpo aha uboro uboro so prona make us not to repeat and now twice or more we got the example here which is em eme ka di ogologo obi na o n eme ka di ogologo obi na ba obi akwara ulo akwukwo ta Emeka is tall. He lives in Aba. He is also in this school. Yeah. Okay, that's that. In, in my next um, learning activity, I'm going to look at another topic. So if you have any question, please do well to go to the comment section and ask your question. I will be glad to respond to you. Uh, like this video if you have not done so um subscribe to this channel click on the bell icon if you have not done so thank you very much for your time please be a portrayal of knowledge knowledge is life that is the secret to success please do that thank you very much